movie lovers and animators, artists and musicians, Allie Rose here, and today I am doing my first speed paint. Yay! I've been meaning to do this for quite some time since I got the new Apple Pencil for my birthday. So, today's speed paint is of my Sonic OC. Now, I made this OC a while ago and was planning to do a series on it, but looking back at my old script and the original drawing for this OC, I decided to give her a complete makeover. Oh gosh, th this looks horrible. I can't. <clears throat> anyway, if I get enough likes on this video, I might actually end up rewriting a script for this character and making a comic series for it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is the sketch I did on paper before I actually did it digitally. You'll notice that it doesn't necessarily look like a Sonic character for several reasons, including the eyes, but don't worry, that is going to change. And uh, you, you can just ignore that other sketch at the top. was just trying to figure out how to make the eyes more like a real Sonic character. So, yeah. On to the digital drawing. Okay, before I started recording all of this, uh, I actually did part of the sketch for the, well, I guess, like, the outline for the character, and then now I'm just kind of going over all the lines and, um, fixing it up, making it look neater, and basically just kind of finishing it off because, uh, I'd forgotten to, um, <laughs> actually draw the legs and the feet, so I'm putting that in now as well as the other hand, which is smaller than the other one. I realized that later. And you'll notice I also changed the eyes a little bit before. I didn't really like it, it just kind of <laughs> looked freaky. So I decided to change it and give her a worried look. And um, I think it looks better now. So now I'm testing out different colors and different shades of blue, seeing which ones work better. I eventually came up with a good color scheme, but it took a while to figure out which colors I wanted. Eventually I settled on this navy blue color for the top and a gold for the badge she has on, which I will color in later. But right now I'm just filling in all the empty spots and fixing up the lines because back then I didn't know about the paint bucket tool <laughs> that you can use to fill it up. So yeah, that's a big oops on my part. Okay, now I'm just going in and filling the hood and doing all the shading for the top as well as fixing the line art because um, as I said earlier, I didn't know that I could use the paint bucket. Now I'm just coloring in the hood and coloring in the badge that she has on her outfit, as well as fixing the shading and the line work on her outfit. And oh, also side note, um, I'm planning on doing a Halloween themed um, speed paint coming soon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done on time, but I will definitely try to do that, so look out for that. Now I'm just going in and erasing like all the little sketch uh, lines I did earlier and making it look neater, I guess. And I'm also realizing now that her ponytail is a lot bigger than it was in the original, which is fine. I guess. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Now I'm just figuring out the shading for the face and her ears, figuring out where all the shadows are, where they're supposed to go, which shades I'm supposed to use. I was honestly having a little bit of trouble with that. Now I'm using this slight uh, skin color-ish to fill in this face area. I'm actually not sure what I'm supposed to call that, but yeah. And for the shadows on her face, I was trying to blend it and like make it look, I don't know, <laughs> better, but uh, it just ended up looking weird, so I, I got rid of that. And then I went down to the boots and uh, fixed all the line work, got rid of all the excess um, lines that we don't need, as well as the pouches she has on her belt and her gloves. 
So now I'm going in and coloring the gems and the little bands she has on her gloves. Uh, I'm using a light blue for the gems and a bit of a darker blue for the band she has. So yeah, I'm getting that colored in, fixing the lines, and eventually I'm going to start doing the shading, but for right now, I'm going to move on to the other band that she has on, on her other glove. And I'm going in and fixing the lines again, blah 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 blah. You've heard all this stuff before, let's just move on. Now I'm going in and fixing the lining on the belt, as well as coloring in her sleeves and the shirt she has under the um, hood, I guess. I'm not sure if you'd actually call that a hood. I'm not sure what to call that. <laughs> if you know what it is, please leave it down in the comments below. I'm also going in and doing the shading for the sleeves and the shirt, as well as going in and fixing the lining for the pouches and the belt. And oh my gosh, geez, the lining. <laughs> Again, with the lining, I swear. I know people in the chat are just gonna be screaming at me. Use the dang paint bucket! You know what? It's it, it's fine. Everything's fine. Ugh. By the way, I know this footage looks a little bit stretched, but that's only because I was a dummy and forgot to record it sideways, so I had to stretch it out a little bit. Uh, for this clip and the other two I'm pretty sure I did it right but I, I, I don't know I'll have to go back and look at it so now I'm just going in and shading the hands and filling in the claws <laughs> and I decided to fix this bit because it just looks weird <laughs> and figuring out um, all the shading stuff, and filling in this crescent moon on her forehead, and decided to go with that, like, lightish blue color. Also filling this in and making it look, um, shiny, like, metal sort of thing. Uh, it took me a while to figure out which colors I needed to use, <laughs> and also going in and filling in the eyes and decided to put a light blue and then a bit of a darker blue. And now I'm fixing the lines on the other hand, going in and shading and the whole process all over again. Woohoo! So now I'm going in and shading the ponytail and figuring out which shade to use because I was struggling with that. Also, I realized I forgot to put in the tail, so I'm doing that now. Just a rough sketch for now and then going over it with the lining and clearing up all the excess lines. So now I'm figuring out the shading for the ponytail. Honestly, I'm not really sure how I feel about how it turned out in the end, but eh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if it looks okay, because honestly, I was kind of <laughs> struggling with it. So now I'm going in and filling in the ears as well as fixing more of the shading on the ponytail. Still don't like how it turned out. I don't know. Some people told me it was okay, but like, I'm honestly not sure about it still. Now I'm going in and coloring the belt and this little badge thing she has on the front of her belt, I guess. As well as doing a little bit of shading and also fixing the line work because I, I didn't use the dang paint bucket. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going in doing the shading and coloring everything else in. Just filling in all the places I didn't get and I tried to do like lighter shade for like the highlights and stuff. It didn't work for the top, but it did for the belt. So I left it there. And I'm also trying to figure out which color I wanted to do these pouches here on the front. I settled for this like goldish brown color and <laughs> using the airbrush and like other tools to get it the right shade that I wanted it to be. And just shading that in too. 
Actually, I <laughs> changed it to a darker shade of that color. At this point, I'm just fixing the lines and putting in the color for these buttons and going down to the boots and fixing all those lines because I didn't do that in the beginning when I should have. Then going up to the face and coloring in this pit, apparently. I have <laughs> zero process for this. It's just kind of random, I guess. Jumping around everywhere, fixing this, doing the shading there, and uh, all that, <laughs> you'll notice. I'm going in and coloring the tail, and I know I'm going to have to fix the lines after this. Again, it's exhausting when I should have just used the dang paint bucket that I figured out how to do a bit earlier. But it's fine, I managed to finish all the shading and I'm not really sure about the shading on the tail as well as the ponytail like I said earlier. And I'm just playing around with the, um, the colors for the shading and fixing up these lines again. <laughs> And now I'm figuring out which colors I want for the boots. And I kind of just got lazy with fixing the lines and decided to color over it and then fix the lines, which made things a little bit easier. And for the boots, I decided to color it in with this navy blue like I did for the top. And I'm just kind of going in and again, fixing more of the lines. <laughs> And you'll notice as I use the paint bucket, the entire background turned blue for a second. So I had to keep like figuring out how to undo it. And then for like the um, bottom of the feet, I tried a few different colors, but like I settled for the darker blue that I used for the shading on the boots. Now I'm going in and just doing the shading for the stripe down the middle using this darker yellow to finish that off and fixing more of the lining. And I chose uh, this other blue for the stripes on her pants. And now I'm just going in and shading that and filling all this in and more shading and just doing all the touch-ups, I guess. My next speed paint I already have recorded. I do learn to use the airbrush for the shading. And it does work a little better, but I think I like the way this one turned out. Because uh, the airbrush does like, it's, it's a lot lighter for the shading. So we went from this to this. Honestly, I think this one is a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but someone else told me that this looked a lot like silver, mostly because of the color. I guess, because, you know, white fur. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I honestly like it a lot better than the original. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay creative, and I'll see you next time. Bye!